the gentlest of meetings. Here he comes. Mihai's looking worse. Thank God he has his granddaughters here to help him out. Their sisters, 15 and 10. Engaging the enemy in combat so we could use his physiological data to improve the drones had always taken a toll on Mihai's body. But today, he was really showing his age. The drones we based on his data were being taken down at a faster rate now compared to when the war began. When Mihai found that out, he insisted on flying to the front lines to see it for himself. Sometimes he could be so stubborn. His age wasn't the only thing affecting his health. Over the years, flying at high altitudes for prolonged stretches of time had ravaged and poisoned his body. But he was a man of grit. Today, after 28 years, he saw combat again. If his flight suit still wasn't good enough to protect him, I can't imagine how many Gs he hit today during the battle. As a pilot, he exceeds all our expectations. It's going to take a bit more tweaking before our drones can match his skill. How penal is this penal unit, you ask? <laughs> this place is a ship. <laughs> If you took the stink of all the corruption in the world, then corralled it all in one place, that would give you a pretty good idea of what the air smells like around here. We got all kinds of critters, too. Everything from flea-ridden guards, rabid dogs, and a mechanic doing a stretch for life. I can't forget the rats. Yeah, we got those. And some pilots who got their wings clipped, too. One's a great pilot, but a lousy thief. One's a gambler with no luck. And one's an anarchist with no balls. <laughs> Their job here was to rev the engines on the fake runways. The idea was for Arusha's spy satellite to pick up the heat sig. Even though there weren't any real fighters here, it looked like it on their infrared. I bet you're wondering, if Arusha lost the war, how come they still have a spy satellite? Because someone over there was smart enough to train a bunch of computer nerds to hack into half of Osea's satellites. That's how come. Every now and again, I'd try to bust out. And every single time, those damn dogs would drag me right back. When I was in my cell, I'd hear this voice coming from the guards' room. It was the Erusian princess rallying her people on the Erusian national broadcast. All us prisoners had become big fans of hers. You want to hear something funny? The guards were big fans, too. <laughs> I swear to God, every time she was on the air, they'd turn up the volume on the radio and sit there listening. I could see how someone like her could win the hearts and minds of soldiers and workers alike. When the princess said something, you could tell she meant every word. Lately, she'd been having more fun with her speeches, and that made her seem even more charming. You could say her charm was like a virus. Whenever she'd point out stuff that was wrong with Osea, the prisoners in here went nuts. Hell, if anyone knew how messed up Osea was, it was the prisoners. They'd shout, burn Osea down. No way am I just gonna sit here and rot away in this hellhole. Dark blue. Instead of building fake-ass planes to trick Arusha, I'm gonna build one that'll really take off. You can count on that. I wonder what she's going to end up doing in the end. It's interesting following her story. As proved by the failure of our previous strategy, the Arsenal Birds have bolstered the enemy's anti-air network. This will be difficult to overcome. However, we still need to get swiftly to the space elevator no matter what it takes. Someone there is counting on us. The president? The hero of the Circum Pacific War and the man who spearheaded the construction of the space elevator. Osea's former president, Mr. Harling. Mr. Harling was inspecting the elevator when the war broke out. He's been classified as missing since the elevator was taken over by the Erusian forces. 
However, according to the latest intel, a military officer accompanying Mr. Harling hid him inside the facility. Both are waiting for a chance to escape. Enemy anti-air radar network has been set up around the space elevator. It's likely a large squadron would be detected. We will send a single aircraft through the network and send in a rescue team soon. Just me? A number of anti-air radars have been set up around the space elevator. However, our reconnaissance suggests their network is weakest along the southeastern coast of Selatapura. So we can elude the enemy's observation. There are a lot of rain clouds this time of year. Flying through the clouds will enable us to stay hidden from their radar. If you happen to be detected by their radar, we will be forced to abort the mission. Ah, uh, this is going to be a hard mission, isn't it? The lone pilot will head up this strategy as you, Trigger. Why has it got to be me? After you bust through, secure the rescue craft's landing zone by taking out the anti-air weapons. Gollum and others will arrive shortly for support. Provide escort for Mr. Harling's craft after rendezvous. Good luck out there, everyone. Sounds like a long mission. So that's us. That's our target. And there's a bunch of um, AA guns, 12 AA guns, and three SAM sites. Okay. So we'll go with the F-16 again. We'll go with our ground bombs. Okay, and then, yeah, you're small, harder to find on radar. Am I that small, though? Am I really that small? We'll see. We'll find out. We'll find out if I'm small enough. Rescue the former president. Cloud cover broken. Operation area, imposing radio silence. Oh no, I'm gonna be all alone. You, you not permitted to make contact. Oh, okay, they'll radio me. That's good. If you're spotted, the mission is over. Stay out of enemy radar. Use of weaponry is also strictly forbidden. Okay, you're heading up the Harling rescue mission. The success of this mission depends on you. Good luck. Okay. Oh wow, I'm not that high off the ground. Stay in the clouds, stay in the clouds, stay in the clouds. I supposed to okay I think I see a path I think I see a path my screen you're like three inches tall okay I think I see where I need to go I think I needed to make a turn earlier I thought I could like fly through the clouds to get past that uh, radar but clearly not. Oh. Icing up. Bah! Okay, so we're going to make a left here.
Yeah, check out all that red. There's a lot of red here. I don't like it. It looks like we're gonna have to do a big, like, circle. There's a space elevator way over there, but we can't go straight to it. Working on it. We're gonna just fly over this city here without anyone noticing. Oh, is this an airport? I think I see planes. Yeah, there's an airport here. We should just land and walk the rest of the way. Then we could easily evo e avoid the... Evoid? Avoid the radar. Oh, the music is so good. Man, this is nerve wracking. Just a little, not a ton. Speed up a little bit. Oh, there's clouds coming up. I'm just flying by radar, basically. Trigger, you got two directions you can take up here. Just go with your gut. Don't worry, we're watching over you. Two directions I can go. Ah, oh, I can cut right through there. Okay. Yeah, let's cut right through there. That's going to be narrow, but I want to give it a try. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. We just have to be very careful and thread the needle. Only 130 feet off the ground. That's crazy. Look, I'm not gonna lie. It's just gonna be you and your radar out there. Just know, we got a bunch of people pulling for you. And I'm one of them. And I'm one of them. Okay, we made it through. We made it through. Is there another gap that I can take there? Oh, that's so tempting. It'll speed us up so much. I should do it. I should do it. Right? Right? Thank you, bees. I should take this gap as well. Oh, my hands are so sweaty. <laughs> Uh, I need windshield wipers. Okay, we're gonna just slide our way in here. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. I wish I could zoom in further. This is the closest I can zoom in. It's got all these little dots on there too that make it hard to see. We made it. That better be a checkpoint right there. Yeah, the real fight's about to get started. 
Radio silence is now lifted. The auxiliary craft will be arriving shortly. Destroy the anti-air around the space elevator. Working on it. I'm gonna get the SAM sites first. Because the SAM sites are the most threatening. Oh, the music's so good. Oh boy, okay, I need to actually put some distance. Those are all those are AA. <clears throat> There's supposed to be two more uh, SAM sites. There's one. Mission still in progress. Yes, it is. There's the next SAM site. Okay. Those are the things I was most worried about was the SAM sites. Okay, I only have five more bombs. Let's see if I can use my MSLs on these. I can. Okay. Those AA guns uh, don't uh, stand a chance now. I just have to not crash into the ocean or the space elevator. Both are very big targets, so they're easy to hit. Okay. We just have a few more to do. MSLs are fun abbreviations for missiles. Wait a minute, is that just all it is? It's just missiles? I was figuring it was a specific type of missile. Okay, I got hit a little bit. There we go. All anti-air guns destroyed. The landing zone is secure. Sea Goblin, you are clear to land. Roger. Run in from one side. We're almost there. Okay, now what do we have going on? Multiple bandits over Selatapura Harbor. They're container-launched UAVs. Okay, here come our UAVs. Oh! Nope, they're landing a helicopter. That's a bridge. Oh boy. Watch me hit my own bomb. <clears throat> Could you imagine? Ok, 
Okay, UAVs are... Oh, we need to go and uh, take care of that real quick. We can't let them get to the space elevator. There we go. Working on it. Target splashed. Got to get this target now. Oh, they're on my tail. All squadrons be advised. The call sign is Mother Goose One. I've sent the information via the data link. Ah, they had flak or er, flares. Okay, three remaining. Page two, walking. Fox two. You will inspire me, trigger. I learned how to deal with these guys. Okay, two more. There they are. I wonder if uh, the crates that I destroyed helped uh, stop me from getting uh, a few uh, drones in the air. One more to go. And then we'll be good. Working on it, working on it. Come on. Yes. Okay. Skykeeper, bogey's on my radar. Bearing 220. Sighting confirmed as MQ-101. Oh, that's a lot of uh, planes over there. Let's get ourselves over there as quickly as we can. I'm working on it. Oh, wait, that's Gollum. I'm not Gollum. I'm Mage. I'm Mage, too. Oh no, they're attacking!
There we go. Got that taken care of. Where's our next target? Got them. There's another one now. This one? Oh! Nice! Oh, I thought that one was gonna hit the space elevator. my next target. Uh, where's Mother Goose? Losing Mother Goose one. Oh, that was a close call with that uh, drone. Okay, where's Mother Goose? Somewhere down. Okay, over there. Dodge this well. Oh. Man, this war has just been a disaster. I didn't hit it. killed the former president, but it wasn't my fault. I've been railroaded. Trigger, you can't fly for a while. You understand why. I understand why. Well, that is BS. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. The operation to rescue former President Harling has failed. Sadly, there is no hope he survived. Yeah, I don't know who we're rooting for either at this point. You are suspected of assassinating a former president. There will be an inquiry. There, there will be an inquiry. Be a court -martial. No, I don't want to be court martialed. Hey, I got a B rank on there. You got one or more new Mirage 2005 skins. You got one or more new nicknames. <gasps> nicknames? 
cool. Can I be something other than Tricker? 